Mic test, mic test. One, two, three. I'm your host, Thiru, and this is Random Review Squad. This is the place to be for reviews, unboxings, and my perspective about what's new and upcoming in tech. All right, so today's review is of course about this Dady mic, right? A DD, Dady, however you guys want to call it. Dady V Mic D3 Pro. Or is it Dady D3 V Mic? Ah, yeah, it's the D3 Pro, all right, from Dady. Now, um, the reason I got this mic, let me just start off with that so you guys know where this is kind of coming from. I don't know if this audio will be good because I'm holding it really close to my face, but I think it'll be fine. This is a shotgun mic. If you see my older videos, most of my older videos, I was using either my Pixel 4 XL, an audio device, or the camera itself. Actually, the Canon M50 itself has a pretty good mic, but there were some posts editing that I had to do now and then. You know, you picked up a lot of noises when the environment was noisy. Of course, the Pixel 4 XL was also pretty good, but not good at directional sound. And you know, because I always use my phone as like a pointer presenter kind of thing. So I have my points written down on my phone. So I got to use it and move it around, which caused kind of a, you know, up and down on my audio file. Right, so that was an issue. So I needed a mic which was fixed, set at one place, which was good outdoors as well in case I wanted to do outdoor stuff. But yeah, mainly something that kind of helps with point and shoot cameras, right? This is what I went for, the Daily D3 Pro. So this is about $260. Seems a bit pricey, right? But actually I feel like this is really value for the money. Why? Is because when you compare it with its competitors like the Rode, video mic pro and the video mic ntg right from road so because for quite a while now road has been kind of uh, dominating the industry in terms of shotgun mics and i think recently daily came in i'm not sure how long they've been around but definitely they're giving out or they're selling mics that are priced much better than theirs and has similar or almost better performance compared to their mics now i don't have another mic for me to compare this to. Um, it'd be cool if I did, but I don't, right? So all I can compare it with is actually my Pixel 4 XL. So this was my previous mic before I got this one, okay? So let me start talking about this mic, okay? So if you look at it, it's pretty weirdly shaped. It's a, I think some of y'all have, may have seen it before. It's called a shotgun mic, right? So it's pretty long and then it's pointed directly at the target to record audio. So how this mic actually works simply put is all the audio directed towards the top of the mic is captured right top and behind is captured and then whatever is on the side kind of cancels out using phase interference and all that science stuff but i'm not gonna go into the details okay so basically you would have most of your sound being recorded from the front right and that's why these shotgun mics are pretty good for point and shoot cameras right because you, you just mount it onto the cameras and then whoever's in front of the camera you get sound all right so the more the more appropriate term for this mic is called a super cardioid mic okay so generally um let's talk about some of the features on this mic all right okay so why would you you know kind of buy this mic who, who is it for this mic is basically for those who want to do some simple filming youtube like myself Maybe you want to do some amateur, I don't know, short films. Um, you can use this as a boom mic as well. You just need to get the stand. Those who want to try out audio mics and all that, this is for you, all right? Basically, this is good to go. It's got auto sensing, so you can actually plug in into both your phone and your camera using um, your 3.5mm jack, and it will work as a mic pretty well, all right? So let's talk about the features. We have a 3.5mm jack, of course. So that's where input-output happens. And then beside that, we have the Type-C uh, charging port. Okay, so usually battery life is pretty good. Okay, on the website it says about 50 hours, I think, if I'm not wrong. Uh, 50 hours of battery life, but I only charge it like once every month or like once every two months, depending on how much I film. But of course, if you're going out for long films, filming sessions, and, and you're going to use it for quite an extended period of time, it's good to charge it before you set out. Of course, this also comes with a uh, stepless gain which I think if you see reviews online and then you compare all the, you know, I spent hours like just watching videos and comparing the road mic, road video mics and this D3 Pro, right? Pitting it against the video mic pro, pitting it against the 
NTG, and I think most of them do not have this thing called the stepless gain. There's this white line that you follow, and as you talk, you can actually increase. Yeah, this is increasing. You can actually increase the gain, and you can actually decrease the gain, and there won't be any cutting. All right, so some some mics actually like cut in between, and then like you see it all of a sudden peak and and whatnot. Right, so I always just keep it at five. It has high pass filters as well. It's seventy five hertz and one hundred fifty hertz. Okay, so basically these high pass filters help you to cut out certain sounds that you may be hearing in the background that you don't want, like they're higher frequency ones, lah. So you you know kind of can just cut them out. Seventy five hertz on, and then this is one hundred fifty hertz on so both work equivalently well so it's good but i don't really have a need for the high pass filter because now i've switched back i usually record and then i do very little post production for my audio that's the main reason one of the main reasons why i got this mic as well because the audio quality is so good that i don't have to muck around with or play around with the the audio settings or audio controls in premiere pro that's a big deal because there's a lot of time sometimes i just waste time cutting audio and playing around with audio so daddy is actually uh, like i said previously it also has the feature of detecting what device it's been plugged into so daddy is is kind of marketing this as the world's first smart super cardio mic because it has a mic microprocessor inbuilt that's able to detect whether it's plugged into a phone or it's plugged into a camera right it's got a single led status light when your camera is on it turns green which means it's you know detecting sound and all that um when your camera is off it turns back to orange and then if you long press it again you will turn it off okay of course it also comes with a windscreen this foam here this long foam that says daddy all right now uh let's talk a bit about the unboxing experience okay so basically this mic unboxing was pretty cool it actually came in a hard case travel around bring this mic along you actually have a hard case which is actually pretty important for mics like these because they have the mounts and the mounts are kind of fragile Right, it helps or prevents the mic from shaking and moving, creating issues with the audio. It also comes with a one three point five mm wire, um, male to male, and then it also has the mount. Of course, it's a beautiful yellow black mount. Okay, and then of course you screw it down below. And it also comes with a USB C wire. Like I said, this is charged using USB C, which is pretty good. Not a lot of mics actually have that. Some still use micro USB. Yeah. So the battery capacity is actually three hundred twenty mAh. Said battery life is about fifty-one hours. I haven't really recorded for fifty-one hours before, so I don't think I'll ever hit that limit. I just have to charge every two or three weeks, just in case, right? Don't overcharge it either. Now I've been using this mic for about two months already, right? I bought this in December or November actually, so it's been about three months, and it's been working really well.、Um, times on editing my video actually has gone down because of the audio. Is I really recommend this mic to those out there. Or、well, just starting out on YouTube, you don't want to spend like three, four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars on a mic. I think it's important to spend on a mic, but you shouldn't spend that much. All right,、um, that's why I was kind of managing with the Pixel 4 XL initially because it still gave pretty decent audio, but I wanted something that wasn't sounding too fake because most of my Pixel XL audio was sounding a bit fake, a bit you know phone callish. So this one is pretty good. I think the only difference you might want to take note of. If you're thinking of getting the Rode VideoMic Pro and this one, I think this one, the sound itself is a bit more bassier on the Rode mic. This one is a bit more clear, or, you know, it's it's a bit more higher pitched, right? There's, there's a bit of clarity in it. It's it, this and this mic really helps with outdoor filming. It kind of isolates all the surrounding sound and it just picks up on your own voice when you're talking, especially when you're vlogging as well. And of course, whatever you point at, it will record that sound. I left my camera. Lens cover at the lab, so I'm going back to the lab right now, all the way from the, the from McDonald's. Right, I'm gonna get my cover.、Um, I did take note of some issues that may occur.、Uh, you may want to take note of as well because when you're talking, let's say if you're talking towards a wall,、um, like I am right now, because it's the corner of my room. There may be issues with sound traveling back, bouncing off the wall, and coming back towards the mic, which may cause some form of interference. Also, your wire has to be a proper or good one. 
Of course, like any other mic, it has to be a proper good one. Uh, some issues that I noticed or some things that I noticed with this mic is that I don't think it has auto turn off, right? So you gotta press and hold and turn it off. But it doesn't, of course, I made it a point for myself to turn it off every single time, which is good. And also this mic, so like unlike some other mics that actually use AA batteries or, or uh, AAA batteries, this one is an inbuilt battery. So if the battery is gone, it's gone. So you have to take care of it. Yeah, otherwise, this mic is pretty good so if you're out there you're making content you want to do vlogs you want to do you know something cool this is a good mic to get the dating v mic d3 pro because this is much more value for the money so if you guys like this video please leave a like and smash that subscribe button i'll be posting a lot more reviews about other items and things that i use daily and also if you guys would like to come and game with me join me in some games join the discord link down in the description box you can also come and watch me stream at twitch.tv slash 5 right until next time i'm your host Thiru, and this is random review squad